In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make a overlapping line visible. Sometimes you have a case where you have two lines and they're exactly the same. And what is happening is basically, as you can see here, they will overlap and it will not be visible. But of course, we will make them visible and we make sure that the, the uh, Hoover effect, when we are close to the point, will be nice noticeable as well. So let's start with for how to show overlapping lines in Chart.js. So the first thing what you need is, first of all, get the default code. So the default code you can find in chartjs3.com getting started. And this link is also in the description box. Scroll down here and then just copy this entire chunk of code. Once you copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains it all. I'm going to paste this all in here. And once I did that, I'm going to cut out the title, put the title in here. And then remove the space here, save that, refresh. All right, so now we have a bar chart. And what I want to do now is to have another data set first. And then after we're going to convert it into a line chart. So I'm going to copy this, put a comma here. And I'll say here, this will be the blue line. And this will be our red line. And then just to make that all consistent, let's do it like that. And here we are. And then for the blue one, it's the second color that we need. And basically, we could remove here the brackets, doesn't matter, because these brackets have no value if you want the color to be consistent. So we do this. We can remove the border with, no need for that. Then here, what I'm going to say is the line. Save that. Refresh. All right, so now we have this. But as you can see here, we have an issue here. Well, first of all, there can be an issue like this. For example, you have here the red line, and by default, the red line is being shown here. Uh, sorry, this one, yes. This is the first data set. But maybe you say, well, hold on, I don't want to show this red line on top. I would like to show the blue line on top. In that case, first of all, we're going to work on that. Let's play around with that. For that, we have the command order. We can say here, order, we put it order number one. Order number one will mean that it will draw this one uh, after or before anything else. So if, if there would be another order, let's say order number two, so this will be drawn first and then order number two will be drawn. It's like uh, which one gets the priority. Order one gets priority over order two. And that's sequence. But if we have here another one, let's say we want to surpass this one, we need to make this order zero. So this from first and then that one. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see now the red line has been swapped with the blue line. And also the order here, or the sequence has been changed. So that's the first thing. But of course, what we can do now is the next item is, for example, we still want to indicate we have a red line here at the back. How do we do this? Well, for that, what we can do is the following. We're going in the red line here, we're going to say comma, and we're going to say line, uh, not line width, sorry. It is a border width. And line width is the canvas term, but of course in chart, yes, they have a specific term for that. It's border width. And let's make the border width more bigger. 10 pixels and we refresh and you can see here now it is starting to show nicely so but of course you can see here some parts doesn't look really nice the tooltip and this don't worry about that i have other videos that will focus on that for now we're just focused on how we're going to make this visible that's number one priority so what i want to do now is you can see these point radius here that is what i want to remove so what i'm going to do here now is i put a comma and it will say a, a point radius put on zero and then we're going to do exactly the same down here for the blue line. Save this, refresh. All right, so that looks slightly better. But what I want to do here maybe for the red line, just give it some transparency. And I realize that that is maybe too light. We could do maybe uh, 8 and 8. So 80% visible, 20% transparent. All right, so that might look quite decent. So now we have this, but you can see here, if you want to have, because we removed the point radius, Getting the exact coordinate is very hard. So what I'm going to do here is to make that easier. So we can say comma here, and then we can do the following. We will add up here basically the uh, point hit radius. We call this the point hit radius. And this point hit radius will uh, basically trigger once we are close in the, in the proximity of that item. So in this case, what I will say, instead of the point, we can make it here like 10 pixels. The moment we are 10 pixels nearby to the point radius, at that moment, it will trigger. So I'm going to put a comma here, save that, refresh. 
And now if I move, you can see here now, even though I didn't touch it yet, we're already here, close to it. I can do this even more intense by putting in 30 pixels. And then the entire hit radius has been more bigger. So if I go here now, somewhere along the line, as you can see here now, we are now able to hit it already. And that's basically an option here if you have two lines to control which one you want to show first by order. And then after, consider the color or the uh, width of the line to make it visible. You can make it more bigger as you want. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you say, well, I would like to continue on solving this item. Well, I have another video here about how to do the charges legend line instead of boxes, which will create nice lines here, which would be very applicable for this specific case here, of course.